that you do upgrade right. 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 the The other thing is, um, I guess you could do however you want. You're, you're making one resolution. You're voting on several resolutions in one vote. And you've said that's okay, right? Yeah, and people do it all the time. Okay? Yeah. On an organization that may make a motion to okay. consider okay. a group okay. of uh, resolutions. We've always done it grouping, and it's one resolution for that group, and it's another resolution. Right. That's, that's the next. No, it's not what you're doing. Cool. Each resolution has its own number. That's the way it comes, right? Right. But then you're saying you're considering okay. a group one resolution. I know, I know. But see, if you look at this, this vote doesn't cover a resolution number. See, that vote doesn't cover a resolution number. So if you take the resolution that you make in the beginning and give it a resolution number and then group it, I mean, it's inconsistent with what the minutes are usually done. Town board meetings shall meet 
the second Tuesday of each month and the fourth Tuesday of each month at 7 p.m. Um, with no second meeting being held during the months of June, July, and August. The meetings on the second Tuesday of each month will be the agenda meetings and or informational workshops required. The meetings on the fourth Tuesdays of each month will be regular town board meetings. Actually, that's the second Tuesday. No, that's the second Tuesday. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Um, and Part C, um, 2013 organizational meeting. Just resolve that any additional organizational meetings or announcements to be made is required. Do you have a motion? I have a question on that. Uh, the town board meeting, the fourth Tuesday is not going to be agenda meetings. You have it down as a regular town board. No, you're right. It should be town board agenda meetings. Thank you, Bob. It's backwards. So the second Tuesday should be the town board meeting, and then the fourth Tuesday should be the town board agenda meeting. I'll make the motion. Thank you, Bob. I'll second it. So Bob, Lou. Yeah. Edwards? Aye. Esposito? Yes. Myers? Yes. Joyce? Yes. Resolve that I'll need be appointing the assessor's assistant at a salary not to exceed $16,881 for the term to expire at 12 31 13. Do you, do you have another version? Is there another version, right? I don't have that one. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, these are only printed on one side. Big up turn on both sides? Yes? Yes. Sorry about that, guys. No, I'm sorry. I've got a mic here. Oh, there's three. There's an actual one. Mike, do you have it right? Yeah. Yes. We got both sides. Group of resolutions that had previously been numbered 1304 to 1309. That's going to be collectively resolution 13-02. Um, all right. So, collective resolutions <coughs> will be grouped as and considered as one for resolution 1302. Assessor's assistant resolved that I'll immediately appoint the assessor's assistant at a salary not to exceed sixteen thousand eight hundred eighty-one dollars for the term to expire twelve thirty-one thirteen. Resolved that I'll immediately be appointed the supervisor's bookkeeper at a salary not to exceed eight thousand two hundred eighty-four dollars for the term ending twelve thirty-one thirteen. Resolved that Mike. Cuevas, Esquire, be appointed as legal counsel at a yearly rate of $36,000 through 12-31-13. The scope of work is as follows. Attendance at one regular scheduled meeting of the board, town board, planning board, and zoning board as requested. The scope of work does not include any matters outside the preparation for an attendance at meetings described above, such as but not limited to litigation preparation for an attendance at special meetings. Council on zoning issues requiring more than nominal effort and or commitment of resources on their part. Uh, following resolution, resolved that Supervisor Joyce review and sign the Mike Quavis contract for 2013. Fire warden, resolved that West Blessing be appointed fire warden at the annual salary of $849.99 for a term to expire on 12 31 13. Uh, historian, Resolve that Iron Irma Mastriani be appointed historian at the annual salary of 
$849.99 for a term to expire 12-31-13. Do I have a motion now? I'll make it. Second? Second. Edwards? Yes. Esposito? Yes. Myers? Yes. Joyce? Yes. The following resolution will be grouped as one and will consider <coughs> resolution 13-03. Registrar, resolve that Cal McLean be appointed registrar at the annual salary of $100 per year for a term to expire or a term to end on 12-31-13. Resolve that our deputy town clerk resolve that the Appointed deputy town clerk's position be compensated an hourly rate of eighteen oh four per hour, not to exceed six hundred forty four hundred and sixty four hours, which equals eight hours per week plus forty eight hours vacation coverage, or eight thousand three hundred seventy one dollars for a term to expire on twelve thirty one thirteen. Records management office resolve that Carol McLean be appointed a records management office officer. For a term to expire 12 31 13. Towns of Records Advisory Board. The supervisor Joyce selects and appoints Tim Bishop and Mary Sue Reed to serve on the Records Advisory Board. board. With Tim Bishop as acting chairperson, Town, town Clerk and Carol McClain can either serve on the board or nominate the final person on this three person board with a term to expire on 12 31 13. And finally, web administrator. We saw that Tim Bishop be appointed web administrator at an hourly rate of $25 per hour, not to exceed $2,400 for a term to expire on 12 31 13. Do I have a motion? I'll make it. Second. Edwards. Abstain. Esposito. Yes. Myers. Yes. 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 That the following group of resolutions be grouped and called resolution number four, 1304, sorry. Uh, court clerk resolved that Rebecca Silly be appointed court clerk at a rate of $18.04 per hour, not to exceed 1,300 hours or 25 hours a week or $23,400. $2 for a term ending 12-31-13. So just to touch on, we were just handed a note here before the meeting um, from uh, Town Justice uh, Michelle Van Wart. Michelle, we can take it into consideration, but since you pretty much just gave us this, this, this to us today, um, we can revisit this if you want. Um, we can set up a meeting. What part? There's several parts on it, basically. One was for, I thought, I was under the impression that Rebecca was going to be salary at the last budget meeting. That uh, was what I put in that budget, uh, in that request. I don't know if there was never any real decision made with regard to that, whether it would be a salary position. Correct, and that's why I'm saying we can take this on the sidewalk for right now, or for tonight, we'll go with what we have as a resolution. But if you want to set up, you know, uh, I don't know if that's the executive session or not, but we can we'll show up and go in and talk about it if you want. I don't really know what else there is to talk about except the request to make it. How right. about um, salary? Because it was before a salary position, that's all. That's all I would have to make with my argument. Okay. Um, uh, back to 1304, resolution 1304. Um, Deputy Court Clerk, this position is open pending town board interviewing and making an appointment to backfill for vacations and sicknesses required. Uh, water operators, resolve that Eugene Brousseau, uh, Louis St. Amour, and George B. be appointed operate water operators at a rate of 17.40 per hour for a term to expire on 12.31.13. Water Clerk, resolve that Isle of Me be appointed Water clerk at an annual salary of four thousand for a term to expire in twelve thirty one thirteen, and that was the resolution. <coughs> Do I have a motion? 
Second. Second. Question? Sure. Uh, George, when we did the budget, we consolidated something for Georgia. That wasn't it? That wasn't it. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. So let me reread that one. We resolve that Eugene Bichot, Louis Sandmore be appointed water operators at a rate of seventeen forty per hour. So please scratch George B. Edwards? Aye. Esposito? Aye. Yes. Resolve that Louis Pazito be appointed Buildings and Grounds Administrator at a salary of zero dollars for the term to expire 12 31 13. Uh, a cleaner. Resolve that Nora Caraval be appointed to the position of part time cleaner, cleaner at the rate of $11 per hour, not to exceed four hours per week, or to exceed $1,300 for a term to expire 12 31 13. Uh, maintenance worker resolved that George Mead be appointed to the position of part-time custodian at a rate of 13, dot, 13 and 13 cents per hour for a term to expire on 12 31 13. Um, just our logic there is that um, we've had uh, some instances where nobody's not been able to respond um, and we wanted to make sure that we can compensate somebody to fill in. Absolutely. 